one. Yo, this is DJ XXL, Chicago Fleet Division, baby. Street Gems Radio, Street Gems Magazine, you heard? We out here at the 2015 fourth annual Fleet DJs Conference. Yeah. Yo, and I'm kicking it, I'm kicking it. I'm in the building right now. We interview an artist, we make sure they get everything out there that people need to know about them so they can promote themselves and project their music across the country. So, um, what's up with y'all, man? What y'all got going on in the streets right now? Everyday hood shit. That's a single on iTunes, we're pushing right now. The message being that regardless of where you're from, what color you are, we go through the same thing we go through, so more about uh, seeing our similarities rather than our differences. Right, so long. How do you guys feel about the state of the game right now, as far as hip hop is concerned? Um, I feel like, I like, I like that the, that the songs that's coming out is bringing back hip hop with certain artists. Some people try to follow a trend. They just like be yourself. Do what you want to do. Don't follow what the next man is doing. And um, a lot of artists tend to do that. But others, we're trying to still also follow our neighborhood. Okay, now with that said, yeah. um, what is your message? What is what are you trying to sprinkle out there, you know what I'm saying, in the community, you know what I'm saying, to inspire the next generation or to just put your touch on it? What's your message? Mm -hmm. um, for me, I think the message is it's more about hoes, it's more about uh, fancy cars, it's more about yeah. Uh, trapping, you know what I mean? Because as you as you live, you learn, and as you progress and mature, you realize that there's more important things in life. Okay. And to carry that message to the youth, I think is the most important. Because uh, young people, I'll speak for myself. When I was young, I only saw the here and now, not realizing that I'm gonna be of a certain age and have some children, and I'm gonna be responsible for that. That um, I gotta make it home every night. That's so right. I can't be trapping hard, ride or die for this block. Okay. Type mentality, you know what I'm saying? So that's the message I, I really try to uh, bring across to the youth that it's more than what they see right now. Okay, and that's a very good answer. I might have to commend you on that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You've done your homework. <laughs> so, uh, one of the next questions I'm gonna ask is, um, you know, what's your top five right now? And the thing is, top five, dead or alive. Dead or alive, top five. Any order? Any order, any genre, as long as they're musicians. What's your top five? Hip hop and motion got super. Okay, okay. I can get, I can get with the pop and get with that. Prince, just for the simple fact of the way he, I mean, you feel His movement, him. yes. Feel him. Um, Fabulous. Oh, sure. Fabulous. So that's three. That's three. Okay, you got two more. Um, I also think Jay Z, just because of we watched him come from there, he's way over here. He's, a, he's, he's not he's not a business, but he's a businessman. You know what I'm saying? He's a business, a businessman. Last but not least, Michael Jackson. Okay. Michael Jackson. That's a given. For sure. That's a given. All right, man. So what's your top five? My top five, that of a lie, man. Uh, Mike Jackson, number one for me. I'll do it in that one. One down. Okay. Uh, Mike Jack, just from a performance and an impact on the people stage. Okay. Uh, change the game. Um, James Brown, uh, fucking Springsteen. Ooh. Ooh. You know Look, went I like, you know. I, um, <laughs> I mean, it's hard, it's harder now. Yeah, five. Uh, um, hey, I didn't say top ten though. Yeah, that's All right. Um, Jeez. We have what three? Like Madonna. Okay. Just three. for that girl empowerment movement. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, Whitney Houston. Okay, okay. All right. Shout out to the ladies out there. <laughs> Yo, so um, how many years you know, have you guys individually or as a collective been in the game? Since 
years, man, like 20 years. I would say. Okay, what's the first track that made you want to MC? Mm -hmm. When you heard that, you knew you wanted to be an MC. See my cousin, great word. He's a DJ, right? Okay. He used to go to his house, he played records. Big Daddy King. Oh, yes. It was just like he always loved Big Daddy King. And that's, okay. He's my older cousin, so it was like I was always around him. And I was just like, Big Daddy King. Okay. I mean, Yo, when I was a kid, right, I was in the dance, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I was too. I used to be nice, right? Not no more. I used to be nice. From the B-boy shit. Yeah, 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 right. So, boom, right? Um, I was going to school, right? And I remember I heard Sweet Disciple, my rap was tight for I shoot thugs on my brain, you know what I'm saying? So, I was good at writing. So, I broke that shit down to the school and recited and blew the fucking school away, right? So, I was like, ooh, if I can get that impact off of uh, writing, fuck this dance Right. You know what I'm saying? So that, that was really what made me want to be an MC, to see the impact of words and ideas on people spoken, how that touches people. You know what I mean? So being that um, you know, uh, music is not a color industry yet, we got white people, we got black, we got Asian, whatever, but music doesn't have a color. Um, how do you feel about how you fit into it as an artist? I feel like I don't sound like it. I'm not trying to do what nobody's doing. When I'm in the studio and we working, I be zoned. I actually don't sit down in the studio. I always be working back and forth. And then when it's time for me to write, I get my own little phone. What sets you apart from what you see out there? Social media, shout out, you know what I'm saying, your Twitters, your Instagrams, let the people know where they can find you. Hit them, sir. Uh, you can hit us at TNT Illville Music, that's on Twitter, that's on Instagram, SoundCloud, at TNT. So love, man, TNT, y'all already know what it is. Peace and love, shout out to both my baby mamas and my seven kids, I holler when I get back. Shout out, shout out to everybody back in Prague, man. All right, yo, well, that concludes my interview. 
Um, you know, just thank you guys for doing this. Appreciate you. Know, it. We, we appreciate you. Appreciate you. Know, it, and we're going to be moving with you. Real niggas back in style, you heard? You already know. All right.